Hey everyone, Dr. H here with Truth Cairo, uh, and I want to dive deep into the topic of dysautonomia. Uh, it's a term that you might not be familiar, you're, you're probably not familiar with, uh, and even some medical doctors may not have a full understanding of it. Uh, dysautonomia is a condition that affects the autonomic nervous system, which is responsible for controlling and coordinating every function in our body. The autonomic nervous system is designed to operate on autopilot, but when there is dysfunction, uh, it can lead to a variety and variety of issues. Most medical doctors do not evaluate the nervous system when assessing illness or sickness, which is why this autonomia is often goes undetected. Uh, now I wanna cover what this autonomia is, what causes it, and how it can impact your child's health. Um, and most importantly, what to do to help them. Now, if, you're caught, if, you're, if your kid is struggling with, uh, uh, with, a, uh, very, with a lot of uh, health issues and has multiple specialists, this autonomia could be the root cause of their problems. Every single teenager we see struggling with anxiety, depression, brain fog, um, sleep disturbances, ADHD, uh, even gut issues has this autonomia. So what is it? It's a condition where the autonomic nervous system is disorganized and imbalanced. There are, now there are two sides of the autonomic nervous system. There's the gas pedal, fight or flight, which means there's stress, tension, anxiety. Then there is the relaxation side, uh, which means calm, rest, and emotional regulation. When this autonomia sets in, uh, other systems in the body also begin to experience symptoms um, leading to conditions like anxiety, depression, ADHD, gut issues, fatigue, even brain fog, and sleep issues. Um, that's why addressing this autonomia is very, improve, is very important to uh, improving the overall health and well-being of your kids. Now, I'm gonna talk about some of the symptoms that we see here uh, when, when a patient comes in with a, this autonomia. The, the first one we see and the most common one is uh, decreased motility in the gut, which means things are not moving along very well. What that looks like in an infant, reflux and colicky behavior. In older kids, may experience chronic stomach issues, uh, nausea, even constipation. The second thing we notice is mental and emotional health challenges. This autonomia has also been linked to uh, mental health challenges like ADHD, OCD, and anxiety because the autonomic nervous system also controls our mood, our memory, uh, emotional regulation, depression, and focus. Um, as a pediatric chiropractor, I've seen firsthand how correcting a subluxation and restoring balance to the autonomic nervous system can lead to significant improvements in digestion, immune function, and even mental health. So what causes it? What causes, what causes this, this autonomia? So I wanna discuss the primary cause of this autonomia, which is subluxation. Subluxation is a neurospinal term that we use in a completely different context, uh, context than, uh, than, than the medical model. Simply, it's a misalignment of the joints and neurobiomechanics of the body specifically in the neurospinal system, your spine, that, close, uh, that connects and protects the central and the autonomic nervous system. Most kids have significant subluxation in their neck and the upper cervical uh, brainstem region from birth trauma, forceps, vacuum, uh, C-section, and induction. These physical traumas cause misalignment which lead to fixation and tension and ultimately neurologically imbalance or dysautonomia. Subluxation causes an excess of sympathetic fight or flight response called the gas pedal. A subluxated child with sensory issues may have meltdown in a store or a restaurant, get overwhelmed so easily and struggle with brushing their teeth, wearing certain clothes, now this happens because the child is literally stuck in a fight or flight mode because there's so much subluxation, so much tension is happening in their nervous system. Now, subluxation could also cause too little parasympathetic or vagus nerve function, uh, which regulates our heart, breathing, uh, digestion, uh, immune response, inflammation, and sleep quality. 
It also helps uh, focus our emotion, socialization, and communication. A subluxated child may have difficulty relaxing, calming down, and even regulating their body. So in conclusion, finding and correcting subluxation is so crucial for your kids' uh, overall health and well-being. Now with our advanced scanning and technology and, and all of our clinical protocols, we can locate, quantify, and correct the subluxation to restore balance to your kid's nervous system.